Well, we're on our first uh, exceptional gardening road tour. We're heading outside of Pitcoke, Texas. If you don't know where Pitcoke, Texas is, it's probably 45 miles west of Zabzikville. Anyway, uh, there's a guy that's got a, I don't know what it is, I heard about it, it's a talk of Pitcoke. A SIP sub-irrigation planter slash wicking bed setup. You know, we're heading down there, gonna see what this is all about. Well, I arrived at the destination. Saw a lot of traveling up here. I saw a lot of Let's Go Brandon signs. He must be the local football quarterback or something. I don't know. So I'm zooming in here and it says no trespassing violators will be presumed dangerous. And I guess uh, he tried to try to paint his gate and ran out of paint. Anyway, uh, one thing I did notice is he's got a tractor supply gate opener and let's see if he uh, changed the combination on it when he bought it because they all come with the same. Now oh, look at that, it's opening. He never changed the combination. So anyway, uh, okay, violator will be, be presumed dangerous but the gate's technically open so I should be able to drive in with an open gate. All right, let's let's go for it. Well, this is interesting. So he's starting out with a stock tank, short stock tank. And the people at the Pitcoke Pizza Place were talking about putting minnows and stuff in there to fertilize it. So it'll be a self-fertilizing, self-irrigated planter bed. Let me, uh, anyway, so this is a, looks like a 12 inch tall trough. It's got a water with a little float valve in it to keep it full. And it looks like it's just free running out and teeing in to his planter beds, which is pretty cool. So um, let me go down lower so we'll see what kind of water it's holding. Okay, so the lower water tank, the height of that water is the level that's in the other tank. So I guess that part's a wicking bed, but I guess SIP is sub-irrigated planter, which uh, I guess it's it's constantly watered. I guess he, as, as long as the water flow to this this valve stock tank works, this is going to stay watered. But looking at the plants, he's got pretty thick planting of lettuce. Uh, it looks good. I don't see any bug bites or anything. Then he's got a little bit of onions. I see some carrots, more onions. He's got a little peanut plant in here. And then looks like some uh, spinach over there. Take a look at his interesting. I've never seen a strawberry plant with red flowers. Last time, one time I had bought a strawberry plant with red flowers and they ornamental. They took off great, but their ornamentals never produced any fruit. We'll see. This, this card actually shows a strawberry plant on it. So a jalapeno pepper, a couple of tomatoes, more strawberry, and then another bed that maybe he just planted. It looks like maybe a squash or a zucchini. Anyway, hope I'm covered enough to understand what's going on here. We'll do it one more time. The level of this water is what the level is in the tanks. So the water is probably about about to here so we got all this dirt water down to here I heard there was something on, on the bottom like a wicking bed like a PVC pipe or rocks with a uh, weed fabric over the top of it um, all right so this is a uh, this is pretty interesting I mean everything looks healthy so it's working um, like I said the pizza place was talking about putting minnows or something in the original stock tank so they'll actually fertilize the water well i'm gonna get out of here before uh before i get shot you guys have a great day